Henrietta City Council regular meeting Tuesday, September 21st, 2021, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Ron, will you lead us in prayer, please? Yeah. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for another day you've given us and just uh, blessing us with this opportunity just to uh, be a part of this community. And uh, at this time, I just pray you just... Uh, uh, Lay your hand on each and every one of these city council members to lead God and direct in the upcoming decisions they make for the betterment of this community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Join me in the flag salute. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> Roll call, please. Michael. Here. Jana. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, proclamation declaring the city of Henrietta a Purple Heart City. I have the proclamation up here. I'm not going to read it tonight because we're actually going to do the ceremony on October 2nd for the VFW. We just needed to vote it in to be able to make the city a Purple Heart City at the request of the VFW. And what does that actually mean? <clears throat> we put up signs and we become on the roster for the state as a Purple Heart City that has agreed to do that. We already have the signs. So no, other, no other responsibility other than post yeah. a sign that needs to do the rotary. And Correct. <clears throat> Bill Goodner contacted me about doing it a while back. They've gone and I the paperwork. She's already got the signs <laughs> in. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Mike. <clears throat> yes. Christy. Yes, Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss an act to move October 19th, 2021 regular meeting to October 26th, 2021. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes, Jennifer. Yes. Item number three, discuss an act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for August 2021, B, minutes of meeting held in August 2021, C, claims for the month of August 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss an act on approval of payment to AEP PSO in the amount of $22,337.40. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss an act on approval of payment to Fuel Man in the amount of $12,609.75. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number six, discuss an act on approval of payment to Henrietta Economic Development Authority in the amount of $11,417.65. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. <clears throat> yes. Item number seven, discuss an act on approval of payment to emergency medical services in the amount of $10,414.72. Motion to approve. Second. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. <coughs> Item number eight, discuss an act on approval of payment to Bank of Oklahoma in the amount of $40,287 for 2015 note series monthly payment. Motion approved. Second. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number nine, discuss an act on approval of payment to Crawford and Associates PC in the amount of $14,729 for professional services rendered. <coughs> Motion to approve. Second. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 10, discuss an act on approval of payment to state auditor and inspector in the amount of $9,718.36 for professional services rendered. Yes. So it's done? No. <laughs> we just owe money still. We still owe money. They've still been here every month, still doing the same audit that they've been doing for three years. Awesome. <clears throat> Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Make a motion to? Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 11, discuss an act on making the caretaker house a rock structure with a metal roof or start bid process for remodel. My turn. You can open it up. John, do you want to talk first? Or? Well, yeah. well, the only thing I'd like to say is this cause has caused me quite a bit of trouble <laughs> trying to get 
get it to where a decision can be made what we're going to do. Um, I was always concerned about the fact that um, it's been somewhat speculative, contingent, you know, there's no, and, and I'm not addressing the merits of what you're wanting to do. This is just logistically and financially and legally what, what my opinion is. I was always concerned about the council voting on what to do with the structure based on a contingency, i.e. donations. And I came to the conclusion that I think the council can only vote based on the funds the city has available for a project or what the city's willing to commit to. I don't think the city can um, make a decision based on the prospect of a donation in the future. And that's kind of the, con that's the conclusion I, I came to. And I, I know there, in a perfect world, if the house was sitting and a 501c3, uh, 501c3 came and said, hey, I want to make a donation, it's like an individual. It can make a donation. Here's a donation city, do whatever you want, or here's a donation, I'd like to see this done. And, but I don't think we can put the cart before the horse. Um, so I don't know today. I was always concerned about make, voting to do something we don't have the funds to do, in a nutshell. Now, if it was tabled for and sits for another six months or a year, you know, I don't know. I, I you know, I don't know. But that's been our legal opinion is that we have a balanced budget and we did not set aside funds. Yeah, and there's it's not either. So, <coughs> but that's my, you know, on it. And again, it doesn't go to the merits because I don't know what's best for Nichols Park or it's not up for me anyway or what what's the best thing to do with that building. The best thing to do, I think, is to save it. So let me show you what I've done. In 30 days, we created a 501 nonprofit, and we started taking donations. Because we all had a discussion after the last city council meeting. My attorney, the city's attorney, Michael was there, and James McCullough, who had a whole lot to do with how the tennis courts were revamped, and they raised approximately $170,000 to do that, and then got city's permission. I don't have $170,000, but in 30 days, we have raised $5,650 in 30 days. Now that we're a nonprofit, there are grants available that we can go after. What we're asking and what we discussed at that meeting was to come up with a plan, squash the rumors, and try to fix this house with permission from the city council. We agreed or discussed drying it in, arresting the decay, making it presentable to the public, and that means to put a new metal roof on it. That means to put new windows in it and put siding on the house or paint it white back to brown, which was the National Park Service's colors. What we want to do is dry it in, save it, and make it look presentable. I have two estimates here. That's all I had time to get in the short amount. We can get more estimates, but we're looking right at $17,000. I have almost a third of the money right now. Another $2,000 if we put a roof on it, and it changes the entire way that house looks. Our proposal is not only will through this nonprofit, will we dry in the house, we will maintain what we've done. If someone breaks a window out due to vandalism, we'll put the window back in it. We'll take care of it until there's a direction to go with this house and would love to do it. And in the future, through grants and possible money, we'll take the next steps with permission to do even more things to that house. It's, it's, I, I don't think there's any issue raising the money. And within, I would say, two months' time or less, I think I could have the rest of the money to put the roof on the house, which totally changes the way it looks in the appearance and stops any more decay from happening to the house. Okay, the, the caretaker house, we all know where it's at. Yes. It's in the middle of the park. We have some big name, big things coming in 2022. When they came out to look at the park, one of their big concerns was, and it's Troy Aikman that's doing it, he has a huge group that came out and spent an entire day there. If we have somebody living in that house, we have to put in an aerobic septic tank system. Where is that going to run? Right in the middle of our park. 
It's, it's doable. The lateral the line pose, yes, will sure. be right in the but middle of where a concert I'm, would be I'm not or even, an event would be. not even going there right now. All I want to do is secure the house <coughs> and make it look decent, save the history that is this park. Like I've said before, the CCC built it, the National Park Service designed it. Congressman Nichols fought to keep them together so we could have this park. It's worth saving. That's all I'm trying to do is save it. We can discuss later what it can be used for or how it can be used. It could be an office for these types of events. Uh, we have plenty of time to make this happen and to save this house. There's a lot of communities that have gone back and are restoring their history. Let's get on the train. Let's, let's take care of our history. Let's make it look like it needs to look and take care of this park. And with this nonprofit and what I think we can do with it, this is just a stepping stone. We, I want to help. I want. This is how I can give back and how a lot of the community feel the same way. You can see that in the money raised in a month's time. We want to save our park. We want to help be a part of taking care of this park. We're just asking if you let us do it. I just don't know that it's feasible, me personally, I don't know what their opinion is, to have a house that somebody's going to live in in the middle of an area that we're trying to make a public park to promote big events. There's not can, been anything that's said about someone living Jennifer, if you look at the proposal, he can put an Airbnb. And if, if you look there. at the proposal we, we, that's presented tonight, all it is is drying it in and making it presentable. That's there's what. But what are we going to do with it if we're just going to dry it in? I mean, if there's no. It could be an office for all those events to coordinate. But you still have to have a bathroom. You have to have. You can, yes, and it should. But that's not even what we're talking about right now. It'd be. I don't understand why this is just it's too good of a deal not to, to it's worth saving it's history it matters I'm only one vote I'm offering to help save something that's been neglected let's bring it back to life let's make it look pretty let the people see if it was nothing but a place to walk out it doesn't matter what it's going to be I just want to save it we all want to save it and it, it, I'm not asking for any money at all I'll, I, in 30 days, I've raised almost enough to put the roof on it. I'm almost there. I wasn't even sure everybody else was here. I did too. Yeah. Uh, Jana didn't tell me she wasn't coming. I don't know where she's at. Jennifer, might I just say one thing? What if um, it was tabled for three to six months? And um, if Mr. Sanford raised the money to uh, dry it in, um, that and that became the uh, agenda item, drying it in or, or doing the um, patio at that stage. At least the... The funds, I mean, would be available with the donation. Whatever the council wants to do, I just, you know, we've talked to DEQ, Ron's talked to them, Christy's talked to them. It's going to be a big aerobic system to for even anybody to live in that house or maintain in that house that's going to run right in the center of that park where we have cross-country meets and we have dirt bike races out there. We have rodeos. That's where they park everybody and it's going to be running right there in the middle of that. Let me ask you this, Steve. Yes, sir. This nonprofit you have is Nichols Park Restoration. 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 So that it means it's solely focused on that house. No. That house, you know, proposed was a patio, do a patio with a roof over like the section of what the main house is, roof over that. It's been talked about going in, pouring concrete in there. If we did that, could you get behind that? And then, because it always, we're talking about not taking any of the rock away from that, the walls, it's still the shells there with trusses and a, probably a metal roof as it looks good to exist. That it's possible maybe sometime in the future if we ever and you even recommended dying the cement so it matched yeah, the Yeah, dying the cement. If there was a point in the future ever to go, go, you know what, we're at a point we could turn that back into the house for a purpose. Because we're not talking about, you're still talking about the shell structure, the sure. roof on it. I, I think, I think before I, if that was the only option there was, I mean, I would do that, but this, I don't think that's, 
don't think that's right. See, and that's where, to me, the rub comes in, because where does it stop, you know? I mean, it'd be nice to have a black and white, you know, what, where, what we're voting on. Well, I, you, you mentioned the table, and, and, and I, I, I really want a decision, but I don't, I don't want to lose. Why don't you give me six months, and if I can pull that $17,000 to dry it in in six months, you let me do it. If I can't, the money I've raised will do it your way. But six months. Yeah, when, 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 well, when's, when's your deadline? When, when do you got to have it either that one way or the issue? Yeah. That I can see is that event. Or that event happens. has happened June of, is happening June of 2022. It is carved in stone. It is happening June of 2022. Is that here in class? Yes. To address the issue of the future plans, is there future plans for a bathroom, a permanent facility for? We have one. In that area. We have one a bathhouse down there that is a that has an aerobic system. Across the street. Yeah, next to the beach house. Right. But nothing will ever be bathroom accessible in there. Mm -hmm. Events will probably be porta potties, right? Events yeah. will all be porta potties. <clears throat> we cannot put a new septic system down there besides an aerobic. You've talked to them as well, and sure. because of the lake, that's all we're allowed. So the systems that are already there, we can't mm -hmm. add to it. We could go back and fix the one that's in this house, so that's how we would come up with the aerobic system for that one. But the older buildings, they told us, no, we can't go back and do that. Because it is a lake. We don't want sewer running into where everybody's swimming. <clears throat> so if there were an option to contain the sewage and have it, I mean, they do this in other places where they have to just come and get it, and it's just to reuse. I mean, that would be also be part of his experience to pump it out like and going, sir. You're talking about like at a travel trailer park where they do just, a bump, dump just station. Something, dump something similar to make that feasible without contaminating the property. I don't know. To me, this is such a controversial decision. I really wouldn't look at the table list. But there's only three of us here. We've had months to discuss it. And we're coming down. <clears throat> we're coming to the wire. No, I'm, I'm concerned with that deadline as well. That's nine months till June. I know yeah, that you have to find it hard to fix it or you should start it. bidding right now. Yeah. I understand completely. Those bids are only good for 30 days and then typically and then. And right now, it. remodel prices are higher than they've ever been. And it's not just that, it's getting a contract to it. issues of that. I don't know what all their ideas are there. I don't know what they're planning to build. Jennifer, maybe. I don't I have no idea. It'll be an annual event. <clears throat> I'm sure Darren's told you something about it, haven't you? So, I know a little bit, not a whole lot. I don't want to spill it because Troy wants to make his own announcement, so I don't want to say what it's going to be and where, when it's going to be exactly. But it's going to be for the schools. He's going to do, um, I don't know, I think 80% for uh, athletics and 20% for academic, and he's going to make it an annual event. With, it's going to be a country concert, I can tell you that. And it's going to be big. They're looking for 10 to 20,000 people to be in our park. With no. With very high profile singers. So, where they would like to have the stage, because it's a natural decline, so seating's easier for them, would be right there in that area where the caretaker house is not literally on top of the caretaker house but to the left <clears throat> it's an eyesore we all know that right now it looks terrible so do the buildings next to it they're going to be moved yes so are they going to uh take care of the baseball fields and all that because that's an eyesore too looks like shit. 
Well, the little league contracts for those fields, but yes, the city know, has like been working we're on it. this concert, and they're worried about this. House they're going to remove and fences, and they're going to put fences back in, and they're going to help do all of that. Yes, and, re and redo the concession stand and all that. They're not going to use that. They'll be bringing their own trucks in, their own generators. Well, no, not for that. I'm just talking about in general. It's an eyesore. I don't think it's an eyesore. It's not been taken care of like it should be, but it's not it's not a threat to anybody to fall in on them. I think the house is worth saving at any cost. I'm willing to do anything I can to do it. <coughs> I've got support. We just, I mean, I've said for the last nine months I haven't tried to save money cause of, or raise money because I wasn't sure we could. Once we found out we could, in 30 days I pulled $600. But we've told you from the start that they can donate to the city. From day one. I can't make people put this stuff there. I didn't advertise it because it's been a conflict and no one was sure until I talked to Luann and, and we all discussed what I could, could do. This is when I started. And in a month's time, I put $5,600 together. $7,900 puts a roof on it. It's 100% different $2,000 from now. I'm willing to do the work. I'm doing the work. I've been here for 10 months, every every time, We're trying to get this thing saved. I ask one more question. So, if the bathroom situation wasn't a problem, I mean, I've seen situations like it where they do have portable johns in there, which contains sealed, you can't see it, you know, it's just like a little patio, or is it just that you definitely need to be removed for what you have planned? I'm game for whatever this council wants to do. I have no, no, either way. I just know the city don't have the funds to do it. We don't have the funds to maintain it and to take care of it. And, you know, he's brought up the tennis courts. The tennis courts takes care of themselves. They came to us from the start, said, we're going to take care of the bathrooms. So we get these bathrooms. You came to us right from the start. We have X amount of dollars already raised. This is what we want to do. And actually, y'all owned the property and then turned it over to the city. So it was a whole different ballgame. Not the courts. There was just one. <coughs> Where the bathrooms are. And where they took it over but you already had the money raised and came to us and said we don't want any money from the city we just want to do this and it's amazing and that's the same propositions being made now is that we're not asking for money from the city he's going to raise the money and do that have you been out there and looked in that house i have recently yes so you saw the whole ceilings caved in right now in that room and there's we're talking about drying it in. Nails and everything all over the floor, and we're 10 months in it. We're talking about drying it in. It's city property. He has to have permission from the city. To we gave him 10 months. To check it out, see if it's worth saving. I've done no construction other than to clean the trash out of 20 years to get in there and get the ceilings down so we can yeah. see the trash and evaluate them. I'll agree with that. See to Steve's point about not any, doing any improvements other than tearing out because of no no definite what you can and can't do. I uh, I don't know, like I said, I was all for not tabling and make a decision tonight. Okay, but I really would prefer the other two council members to be here now. But you said you're probably not gonna make the next meeting. Potentially. But I mean I just have somebody somebody come in or I mean, I've had to do that twice so far and it's not been an issue. I don't know that I'll be here. Yeah. We have to move the next meeting because Donna has surgery the 7th, I have surgery the 12th. So it's kind of a iffy situation for next month too. <coughs> we were hoping everybody would be here tonight. I'm not really sure what happened. I'll be here. Huh? I'm I'll be here. How do you feel? I'll be out. What are you I wanted a patio from the beginning. Save the rock, save the chimney, you know, <coughs> so that everyone could use it. It's not just board it up and just sitting there. I mean, if we're just going to board it, I mean, dry it in and not going to do anything else with it, what's what's the point? Why not have something that people can sit on, have family events at? I thought that was one of the options. Huh? I thought that was one of the options. It is. It is, it's but that's not what he wants to do. No, I want to save the house because of what its significance. I also, <coughs> there's a letter from Cecil Stubbs in there explaining how they would like to see it saved as well. If she wasn't in Texas, she would be here tonight. 
but um, it's, it's worth saving. I'm trying to save it. it there's three other structures out there already for people to get under and camp <clears throat> close to the lake where people can enjoy the lake. This is kind of far away from the lake. It, it was built with a purpose. I want to save the house. Is is there not enough time if you said in three months as compared to six or whatever, you know, you, if there's nine months in this time frame that you're looking at and you said, okay, you know, one way or the other, either what Michael's talking about as far as tabling that or, or John, either one, as far as trying to make this decision. If you said there's a, there's a, there's a drop dead, <coughs> this is it. I uh, think uh, we, you're on the right track. Uh, I think we need to decide, is that the route we want to go? And give him full authority to say, keep raising money, keep doing that, let's do that. Well, we need to make that because, decision. Because like he said, he's been 10 months waiting. Yeah. So well, that's and, why and, I keep putting it on the agenda, saying, okay, <laughs> let's make a decision. Where are we going with this? <clears throat> and that's that's all I'm saying is, you know, is 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 there a is there a way to do that? Because the the secondary part, and we also just you brought it up about you know construction costs, and then Michael about contractors <coughs> to get people in there and get it done before you're concerned as far as that other deadline. It's got to get done. I mean, there's got to be you know there's it, we're at a real interesting you know, time frame right now. But even if you said, okay, you know, if you've done this much in a month, you got two months. You got from today, two months from today, if you cannot show that amount to be able to put this in play, it's done. And and just and just make it that because that that at least gives us some idea of what we can do in that next two months. 60 days and if we can then and, you know I, I i i'm in full agreement with you as far as you gotta you gotta decide you gotta move it's either got to be ready to go and and i understand the concern about putting it in the dry and then not doing anything with it i don't think that's a good idea either but if you don't do something with it from a, you know, and hopefully from a, this historical standpoint, then then it's it's really it's it is going to be the you know there's no reason to keep that particular structure there the way it is if you've got other events and other things because no it's not ever going to it's it's not going to get any better it's just going to continue to be at that eyesore so I just I'm just trying to figure out if there was just I'm kind of a little bit late to the game on this deal but I'm just trying to figure out if there's if we can do that if, if not then then I'm I kind of agree with y'all as far as that's and if we don't have any intentions of putting somebody to live in it or using it to that effect why are we going to go to that extent you're talking about the drying in process yes I can, why I can have see him raise standpoint. money to do that if we have no intentions of moving further? The council <clears throat> needs to make a decision as a whole and say we're going forward or we're not. Because we keep putting it off, we keep putting him off, we keep, you know, just tossing the idea around because nobody wants to be that person. And it's just drug everybody along now for 10 months. <clears throat> Can I yes. say something? Okay, well, if we don't have a place that's available for someone to be how can you say that there possibly won't be anybody there if we have it like C's wanting to do there will be an opportunity for somebody to live in it and take care of the property and take care of the trash that's everywhere mowing all of those things but we can't do that because he hasn't got the okay for it yet and, and if I can also add as part of the meeting when we <coughs> met with, with your attorney the reason why we broke this down into stage one of drying it in was because at that meeting we were not getting anywhere with talking about what the future phases and steps might be and he didn't want to hear about what we were going to do in the future he wanted one step right now either dry it in or it's gone the drying in part is just the very first phase in what the 501c3 wants to do if it's not there, 
then those next phases can't happen. Whether it's preparing it for someone to live in or preparing it for an office to have as a place. I was part of the city when they had the concerts out there before. You had to bring in motor homes, you had to bring in all this stuff for people to stay out there for security. If it was dried in now, in the future, it could be used as a place for security, for a temporary, you know, uh, uh, place for headquarters when you do have events out there. And yes, you're probably going to have to put a, a, a porta potty close by for someone to use if you do it like that. But you, if you say, no, we're just not even going to look at drying it in right now, you lose that opportunity for doing anything like that in the future. But you also so. have the vandalism and the upkeep of all of that once you do it. You all see the and vandalism he, out there. The, the <laughs> vandalism will occur out there whether you've got a structure that's got a chimney with rocks in a, in a top or this house. He's agreeing that if there's vandalism that affects the house, he's going to take care of that. And I say he, it'll be the 501c3. But it's still city property. It's still city property. Yes. He's not... Asking for a lease, we're not asking for any of that stuff. It's a, city, it's a city property that would be available for use by the city as the city approves different things to be improved out there. You're wanting to do this concert in that flat area. I know that when we've talked before, the concert was talked about doing an amphitheater towards the back of the park over there, back behind the um, fields where you've got a nice deep drop that's a natural, could be a natural amphitheater. Where the soapbox derby area was. And doing all that type of stuff, then nothing happens. I mean, they want to work on a plan of different phases of all different projects out there. Oh, this concert's going to happen. It's, it's I, a, I'm not talking about it. the concert. I'm talking about the improvements to the park. <laughs> different people come up with different ideas every three or four years, mm -hmm. and nothing happens. So if you get it where there's a group of people that are dedicated to putting together a plan for all different phases and all different projects, then they have something to present to the city council. And that's what we're trying to do. This I'm not opposed to one. any of that. I'm just saying we need to decide as a council where we're going so everybody's just not <clears throat> in limbo. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. We are to the point where we got to do something. Yeah. I agree. My other question would be, I mean, the, the attorney talked about the cost. Have you budgeted to have that made into a, a patio with a new roof? And We haven't budgeted in any of that. We had money donated to do it, and the money got pulled back. Okay. So my statement there would be, if you decide today you're going to do that, you still got to figure out where the funds are coming well, from. Well, we out. have parks funds. We know that we have parks funds that are available to do those things. Okay. <coughs> so, once it's done, it's done. You know. Well, we have parks funds to do the things that you guys want to do, but we can't use those same funds to get off the ground with somebody else. Uh, like I do. just said, we just need a direction that we're going to go by the council to say a direction we're going to go. At every meeting, you've said that it wasn't in the city budget, but then you just said you have. We're Parks talking ten thousand dollars, not two hundred thousand. If we had a quote, we had a quote, quote that was sixty five hundred, yeah. which is why the donation was like sixty five. Yeah, 6, that's why we had the contribution was for the amount of money to make it that structure. I know not everybody may be in the agreement with this, but I, I personally would be for seeing it dried in, being aesthetically pleasing as a monument to what was done, and not necessarily doing else other than tear, you know but we're at the point where we got to do something and I would if y'all would get agreement I don't know where we could be on that John but uh, I mean I'm talking about like you got 60 days to raise enough money to do that and if you can do that then we can you also have only have a certain amount of timeline to get it done yeah, because we, we have to, if it doesn't get yeah. done we still need 60 to 90 days to do what we need to do yeah. 6,500 being matched right. with what he's already raised. All, all Nobody's asked for money. Gone. It's gone. But you're saying that if you decided to go forward with your pavilion, that there would be funds in the parks fund available. He hasn't asked for it. Well, we're not saying that. 
we wouldn't yeah. ever yeah. help. No. Okay, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's the point that I'm getting across, that whenever you mentioned what you wanted to do with these, well, there, we know there are funds right. in, in the parks fund, but however, what everybody else proposes ideas, well, no, no, there's no funds. That's what we it sounds like. That. We haven't ever said that. That's, how, that's just how it's coming across to We've the general public. We've never said that so. in any way, shape, or form. It's just everybody knows that you have to have a balanced budget, just like you have right. to be at home. Right, and that's why he hasn't asked. That's why he hasn't asked for anything. But, but that's why. But we haven't even had a council decide if we're even doing it. Yeah. That's where I'm at with it. I mean, we need to know where we're going. And well, every time it's been table, 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 table. But then, you know, I hear from people that we've abated their houses. You didn't give me ten months. I got sounds, 90 days and you tore my house down. It sounds to I me that Steve has his ducks in a row. So <laughs> everybody else needs to get theirs in a row. I don't think that abating houses is, equates to the same thing that we're talking exactly. about here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I, 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 I really, well, I, mean, I don't think that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fair example it, about it's what you're... In fact, what you're talking about is the amount of phone calls that the I, I understand. I, I appreciate not, that. I, but I'm not... But I, I think that's a that's not a real clear or, or fair assessment of what's what you're discussing here compared to abating houses because right. we all know that there's you can go down most any street Maybe unfortunately in Henry yeah. that the houses that need to, are in a lot worse shape than than even that out so there. So here's what I propose. I think Mr. Nicole had a good idea, a potential idea. Let's give the nonprofit 60 days to raise the money that what the current bid shows and come back with the minimum number of bids that we have to have to do that I'm talking about roof doors windows siding so dry it in days to dry it in like I said I'm fine with it being there and maybe always only at that point as a monument of to the park to, to the, the park and what the CCC my service. grandpa went out there and worked my grandpa a lot of people's family I, and beach houses i would just i mean i could see it just as a monument as long as it was upkept it'd be fine I would, I would be fine with that my proposal is give him 60 days of rent his money come back with the minimum number of bids we want to do this here's the money to do it with here you go just like the tennis association has done that's my proposal your motion i'll make that motion <clears throat> I'll second that. roll call please Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. So I got 60 days. You yeah, 60 days. If I got the money and turn it over. Come back in 60 and days, it'll be dried in. With this. what he just proposed. No, I have, no, no. I have, come back in 60 days with enough money also to, to dry it in. Materials can like if he gets donation of also materials to help. Does it have to be to offset funds the price only? of the money? I mean, if yeah. he has literally has possession of it, John, is that? Well, if you has, yeah, if, as long as it's under actual physical protection or actual physical we'd be under fifty thousand dollars, right. so you're not going to have to bid to dry Plus, it. Plus, it, 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 right yeah, it would be donated. Yeah, it would be donated because it's, it's not, not anything money. the city's doing, and we're not proposing yeah. it. So, so, so any, so any, any donations to the five hundred. Yeah. So he can yes, he can do anything well, got the money and to raise those money, days. materials or money, right. whatever he chooses, because he's doing it under his five hundred one three, so it doesn't apply to city rules. You come back with that money or materials, all that. We vote to do it. You're going to have a time frame to get that. That, that, that leaves us enough time frame. Sure, I think that's more. Right, right. I'll agree with that. Yeah, yeah. 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 my bid, my process starts or your process starts. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Just a point of clarification. You talked about the other buildings that were there. We're just talking about that. We're only talking about the, the, the house, place. the breezeway, and then the little garage that's on the correct. side that's all connected. The city, the caretaker house, the city is going to. The and city's moving, of moving those their storage, storage yeah. behind there and cleaning all that junk out and making it 360 presentable around that area. Okay. For the water. Okay. So we'll do our part. All right. I think that's fair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad we got something. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just, as part of the community, we just wanted to just want okay. okay. We just want to I wish that I y'all would come all the time. That's really what. You're supposed what this to do. Is supposed to be. Yeah. You saw the first. Honestly, it's frustrating us because we don't know which way to go. People aren't here, and people aren't saying well, anything. And so, no one wants to come unless something's controversial. It's right, controversial. Yeah. Controversial. Yeah. Instead of being, instead of coming all the time, people just 
stay in their own little bubbles. And half the time, I think a majority of, yes, this right here, and they don't see it on Facebook, they don't think it exists. No, it's not real. But then they want to get on Facebook. And it's the same with the school board. You know, they, half the parents don't realize that the second Monday of every month is a school board meeting. Can I say one thing? Important. I've been flat for a long time. I've yes, out, Josh. I've been out working at that park for 20 freaking years. Yep. Every weekend on my own. Right. Time. And he has put a ton of money. I've put over $100,000 of my own money in that park. Good grief. In the last 20 years. Yeah. And in the last 20 years, I've seen maybe 15 people show up at that park at any given time to come out and do a damn thing. Come on. Yep. So if you're out here running your mouth now, Come out and run your body later. <laughs> Show up and do some work. I see this man out here walking. Every time I'm out there walking, he's picking up trash. I see Steve and his family out there cleaning up. Speaking I, of that, I saw else. this man walking down Main Street the other day picking up trash. <laughs> Are you sure? I swear. <laughs> she is charged with uh, picking up there. Too. Probably not supposed to tell me. So the, the park is more than the caretaker. It's the whole yes. entire park. Yeah. Yeah. I agree 100%. All right. What do you want? Item number 12, discuss an act on request by BFW to waive rental and deposit fees for the Civic Center for November 8th for the Veterans Dinner. Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Yes. Item number 13, discuss an act to waive the rental and deposit fees for Civic Center for November 7th, 2021 to allow Trampas and Sherry Parker, TNS Racing Armament, to have their awards banquet with Shoney's Catering. Motion approved. Second. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 14, discuss an act to allow Rotary to host a disc golf tournament at Nichols Park on March 5th, 2022. You better clean up or Josh going to come get That's you. That's me. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> um, we'd also like to ask for a contingency day in case the weather's bad at the 12th. Okay, March 5th March. or March 12th. And we may have month. food vendors too also. That will be wise though. Uh -huh. Did there have to be licensed or anything? No. Mm -hmm. Not as, as long, long as, as it's approved their, for a special event. As long as they have their food and their stuff. They don't have to have food and their stuff. They don't have to have food and their stuff. Motion approved. Second. For March 5th and 12th. Yes. Thank you. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Yes. Item number 15. Discuss an act on request by Tracy Goza from Henrietta Freelance to acquire rolls of film from the Henrietta Public Library for the purpose of copying them to add into their missing digital files. So we discussed be. this prior to the meeting and Joanne does not feel comfortable letting hers go. The National Historic, or Oklahoma, I don't know which one you'll go through, Oklahoma. Historical Society has them, they can buy them, and they can get them done through them. Joanne talked to them today and she requested that we do not give them ours because she's worried that they may not be returned in the appropriate manner that we have them and we had to pay to get them from the Historical Society as well and that she uses them every single day. I've already discussed it with them. They're fine with getting them as long as they get them from the Historical Society. <clears throat> so, so we don't need to do anything on 15 and 16? I think we need to... Motion to not allow? Yeah. <laughs> Motion to deny. Motion to deny. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. That's weird to say yes, but it should be no, I guess, right? Yeah, it is. Item 16, discuss and act on approval of agreement between Ancestry.com operations, including each of the affiliates, affiliates and City of Henrietta provider. What is this? Because this went with it. That's, that that's same went with it. Same. So deny it, too. Motion to deny. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 17. Discuss an act on reappointment of Keith Estes to Henrietta Economic no. Development Authority to serve five year terms. No. I want to make a motion to make it life term. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Motion to approve. Second. Roll no call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. But you know, he was here to object, so it's not really fair. <laughs> no, normally they're not here. <laughs> but there's another three. member here that says, yes, do it. <laughs> Discuss an act to reappoint Jill Francis to the Henry and a planning and zoning board to serve another three year term. Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. 
Item number 19, discuss an act to reappoint Jason Lilly to the Henrietta Planning and Zoning Board to serve another three-year term. Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 20, discuss an act to reappoint Kenny Berry to the Henrietta Planning and Zoning Board to serve another three-year term. Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 21, discuss an act to reappoint Keith Estes to the Henrietta Planning and Zoning Board to serve another three-year term. No. <laughs> Motion approved. Second. Okay. Roll no. call, please. My call. Yes. Chrissy. Yes. Jennifer. Good yes. try. Usually if you don't show up, you get voted <laughs> in these calls, right? <laughs> yes, you get Item 22, discuss an act to reappoint Charlie Justice to the Henrietta Housing Authority Board to serve another three-year term. Motion approved. Second. Michael. Yes. Chris Aiken. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 23. Discuss an act to reappoint <coughs> David Bullard to the Henrietta Housing Authority Board to serve another three year term. Let me ask you, is he the city representative or do we have to have a city representative? Jana's on it. Jana's on it. Jana's on it. Okay. He's been on it the whole time I've been on the council. I don't know how I got on it. I was on it before when I was on the council. Mm -hmm. was, uh, but yeah, anyway, motion. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item 24, discuss an act on approval of resolution number 1275, authorizing application for financial assistance from the Rural Economic Action Plan Fund. That's our brief grant. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number 25, discuss an act on providing dumpsters for citywide cleanup October 8th through October 10th from 8 to 4 each day. Where do these go? Where do we put these? We put them down by the farmer's market <coughs> behind it so they can look through there so and have city employees work it. What? So you get to have your water bill? Yes. Okay. Water bill is mandatory and it has to be a recent water bill and you can only have it checked twice. And I was contacted to have this done by Jeremy Roberts. Uh -huh. They're going to get some volunteers to help. Ron says we can do it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, mm -hmm. They have no problem getting the dumpsters and rotating the dumpsters out. But Sunday's harder to get people to want to work it. Sure. So he had recommended that we do Friday and Saturday only. They will do Sunday if we need them to do Sunday, but it's harder to get volunteers and city workers. They at least want one day off, and I get it. So we can do any of the above. They requested the 8th through the 10th. We can do the 8th and 9th only, or we can do the 8th through the 10th. I tell you what, I, I know there are other people are like me. Sometimes I only have one day off. Yep. So, That's what we discussed too. Is sometimes well, and I don't, I don't mean the city workers. I mean me being able to haul my to truck clean your down. stuff. Yes. Yep. That's what I'm talking. That's why I thought all three days would be beneficial because Sunday may yeah. be their only day off to right. be able to clean their yard or to get the neighbors to come help them clean right. their yard. I make a motion October eighth to approve. Mm -hmm. You second. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item 26, discuss an act on city manager public works director's report. We have had a water break every day of their entire year, nearly. Can't find pipe anywhere. It's been a nightmare to try to keep water running. Uh, you can see Quick Trip's making big progress down there. Moore Street Bridge was closed for a few days. The city crews were able to replace what needed to be repaired and put back in service quickly. Labor Day was a huge success as always. The town was super busy. Uh, playground equipment at Nichols Park. I don't know if you've been out there lately, but it looks good. It's um, making good progress and that should be in within the next couple of weeks, all up and done. And we're cleaning down by the lake area where the swing sets are because all of that was a drainage problem. All that's going to be clean, cleared, and drains put in to make it easier to mow and prettier aesthetically. The hot trails still make money, and it's about that busy time of year. So, it's about all there is on this report. Make a motion to approve the report. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Discuss an act on new business. No new business. 
Item 28, adjourn. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. My call. Yes. Yes. Henrietta Municipal Authority, regular meeting, Tuesday, September 21st, 2021, 6.30 p.m. Civic Center, 115 South 4th Street. Roll call, please. Shannon. Michael. Here. Shannon. Christy. Here. Jennifer. Here. Item number one, discuss and act on approval of consent agenda, A, financial reports for August 2021, B, minutes of meeting held in August 2021, C, claims for the month of August 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number two, discuss and act on approval of payment to Center Point Landfill in the amount of $14,700. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number three, discuss and act on approval of payment to Myers Engineering Consulting Engineers Incorporated in the amount of $19,863.70 for the water main replacement along Trujan Street and US 75. Motion approved. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number four, discuss and act on approval of payment to OD OWRD 09-0029-CW in the amount of $11,193.26 for monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Item number five, discuss and act on approval of payment to OWRD ORF-08-0015-DW in the amount of $37,962.14 for monthly payment. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Michael. Yes. Christy. Yes. Jennifer. Yes, Jennifer. Yes, item number six, discuss and act on new business. No new business. Item number seven, adjourn. Mr. Purdue.